All right, Jet fans, I'm really excited. This gets me all sorts of pumped up. The New York Jets and Braxton Barrios are talking contract extension. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! All right, welcome in. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot tonight. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, this has me all sorts of excited. Braxton Barrios has become one of my favorite players. It gives me shades of my boy Wayne Corbett, my all-time Favorite player, got his uh, autograph over there on the shelf. Very, very excited to see that the Jets and Braxton Barrios are talking contract extension. Braxton Barrios is just 26 years old. He's coming off his third year of a three-year, $2 million deal, so he's paid a little under a million dollars this year. Uh, he has 56 touches, 500 yards, and seven touchdowns, and he has over 30 yards per return in the punt and kick return game. This guy has proven to be such a reliable weapon uh, on this team, and I don't think anyone's out. Any, I don't think anyone out there is expecting wide receiver one, two, or three type money. But I think this guy is incredibly valuable, and I think it's absolutely worth bringing him back. And look at him—he winds up showing up in like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer costume for one of the one of the press conferences after a game. Like I, I just love this guy. <laughs> he's everything I want. He's fun. I feel like he's like a locker room glue kind of guy. He says the right things in the press conferences. He has his quarterbacks back, and he's always doing whatever the coaches ask him. And he's just a reliable pass catcher. He caught like, I think it was like 45 of his 65 uh, receiving targets, and that's with a few of them being a little off, off base. But man, I'm like all sorts of excited for this. So what could a contract wind up looking like for Braxton Barrios? Well, to give you an idea of some guys that are kind of around his maybe skill level or, or type of um, play style, maybe. Cordero Patterson down in Atlanta is on a one-year $3 million deal. Now, I do expect him to get quite a bit more money, so I think it is probably wise for the Jets to lock up Barrios now so they're not trying to compete with that type of contract. Uh, Darren Sproles back in, like, 2016, 17, 18 or so was averaging between 4 and $5 million per year on a deal. I would say that's somewhere similar to where you'd probably expect Barrios to fall. And then Jamison Crowder had signed originally a three-year, $28.5 million deal to be our slot. And I'll be honest, I think Braxton Barrios could be that slot option moving forward. I think he can absolutely start in the NFL at that position. And for that amount of money, it's, it's definitely more than I envisioned giving him, but I think it's not totally off base. Now, Jameson Crowder has renegotiated his contract to where Joe Douglas felt all right keeping him, and that was one year $5.5 million this year. So maybe that is more in the wheelhouse that Douglas would like to try and pay Braxton Barrios. In my mind, you know, I'd like a three- or four-year deal. So I started looking around. I was looking at over the cap, and I was looking at Spot Track. Spot Track has uh, a four-year $23.7 million deal. That would be $5.9 million a year. I would be totally fine with that. I think that's right in the wheelhouse where you would really like to pay this guy. Over the cap seems to be somewhere along those lines as well. They haven't updated for the most recent games. There's kind of like a two or three week lag there. Um, but yeah, I, I love what we're seeing. I would say in the end, I'm looking for somewhere between three years, 18 and three years, $21 million. Somewhere in that six to $7 million a year range. Maybe it's a two year deal with a team option for the third year or a three year deal with a team option for a fourth year. Either way, he has done everything that we were hoping Denzel Mims would do to being reliable on the field, to having a report with Zach Wilson, to just being an all-around, just a great gadget kind of player. Like, I would expect Mims to have that kind of speed and be able to take a jet sweep around. But now that seems like that's Barrios's position to lose, and he also just seems like that's, like, one of the go-to plays in our arsenal right now. So why not bring the guy back? And I love this from Joe Douglas's perspective as well, because... This is another player that we picked up on the waiver wire. Braxton Berrios and John Franklin Myers, two guys we picked up on the waiver wire that both got contract extensions. I do expect Quincy Williams to also get a contract, probably a one-year deal, after the season. So it's nice to see that a GM isn't necessarily favoring draft picks over guys that he's found on the waiver wire. If you play well for this team, you're going to get a contract. And I know Joe Douglas hasn't had his draft picks come up for contract extensions yet. So there's probably a little bit of a skewing there. You're kind of comparing McCagnin's picks to if he'd want to resign them to, to waiver wire. But either way, I love this move for the New York Jets. I hope they get this contract done. Braxton Barrios is easily one of my favorite players on the Jets right now. And I hope, 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 hope 
that he's going to be here for a long time. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What type of contract would you like to see Barrio sign? Are you in like some sort of weird, crazy uh, hysteria? Maybe we should not sign Braxton Barrios. Let me know everything you think down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets.